presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life completely is transformed. Magic ha just happens in your life. What comes to you easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Oh, yeah. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 116, NASDAQ up 39, SPs off four. Gold, gold contract up $3, trade at 1925 an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, $23.79 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 37 cents, eighty dollars thirty five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten year note down one tick, trading one oh nine oh four. Thirty year up fourteen ticks at one eighteen ten. And king dollar, king dollars up two hundred and sixty nine ticks, trading at one oh three five ninety three, five sixty three rather. Euro at one oh eight, yen at one forty five, and the British pound at one twenty seven to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's trying to get off the lows, folks. And let me just show you this as we do this exercise every day. It's pretty cool, man. The bottom line is that you'll see what's holding this up. And we've tested it a few times and it's just deviant enough, man. So what you have here is this is okay, what's held it up is when we go back to yesterday, and you know, yesterday when we went down, it was the fall, the, the prior day, where you had the sign of strength that held it up, and what you had out here today is that we're dealing with 64,000 contracts, okay? And so the market opened, went higher quick, gave it up in spades, now watch what happened here. You're going into 64,000. That low of the 64,000 in the S&P futures was 43.92, okay? First time down, what do you have? We had 39,000 contracts. And remember, going against the 64. The 64 is what you want to remember. Second time down, 27. Now, it certainly couldn't go up either. But the bottom line is that when you get two tests like that, you know, that's telling me that the most deviant thing the market can do is make the bounce, you know, because the bottom line, everyone's nervous. Don't blame being nervous. Uh, bottom line is that and, you know, I think we get a, a bounce going here. I suspect you got, they're going to run it into the close. That is on the short-term basis. The bigger basis goes like this, that we're probably setting up a very large B to C of an ABC structure down. And if that's what we're doing, it's going to be a big one because the A point on this in the SPY is that tie, which is the 439, the low, which is the 430, 33. Well, it's not that big, I guess. No, no, yeah, it is. 459. Oh my God. I'm gonna, I got a glass appointment pretty soon, folks. <laughs> I better. <laughs> anyway, you get the gist of it. 459, 433. That's a big one. Yeah, 26 points, right? So, what have you, what you're done here, you know, bottom line, we're down with, vol we're down with volume. Yesterday, we go higher with 68 million. We're at 43 million now. Now we'll do about 65 million probably, okay? But I suspect it looks to me like this thing can get up to this 446. 
Now, if you take the 446, watch what happens here. Take the, and the reason I'm going to 446, that's where the breakdown occurred. We, that was the first leg down. That's where you have volume. We'll go sideways for five more days. Then we flip down again, okay? And then if we take that and we go like this, and we say, okay, that is a 50% retracement right on the button of the first leg down. So that's where I'm going with this whole deal. And I suspect what's going to happen is as we go higher, you're going to have the volume drop off. If that's what we get, more than likely you get a very large ABC structure down, and that'll, you know, basically set up the next leg lower. But Q's are set up the, also the same way. What we had yesterday, bottom line, is that you went higher. You had the contraction. We did 50 million yesterday after, you know, hitting lows of 61. We'll probably do 50 million today. We're at 34 right now. It's going to be a close call. Same type of setup. You're going high, you have a contraction of volume. Gold. Now, the gold contract, it looks to me like we're bottomed. I was looking for the 1904. We hit 1913, 20, I believe. And the reason I'm saying that is I'm going to bring you over to the dollar for a second because we get a, we get a little... Now, gold certainly has not had a sign of strength yet. You need a sign of strength. We haven't had the sign of strength yet. We get a slow turn that's happening, but what we have had is this. Let me pull this up here so you can see this. On the contract itself, you can see last week we, we basically, uh, last week, no, today's Tuesday. So Thursday, you know, we, we get down with 152,000 contracts. Yesterday, they tested that with 129, 130, okay? If we go into the GLD, and that way we can see what it, it was actually going against, meaning the March signs of strength, it's dramatic. So if you take this up and you take a look at it, what you're going to see is that you're coming into 25 million shares, okay? And we come into that with 7 million. We tested that yesterday with 4 million, okay? Now, we've seen this happen before in the gold market, too. So you've tested the lows with tremendously lighter volume. What's our problem? Our problem, we don't have any buyers here because I'd like to see a lot more than $4 million. Now, yeah, you can make the case that, okay, it went down to 175.31 today. Like, okay, are you testing again with light of oil? And bottom line, we'll find out in the next couple of days. But um, my take is that this thing wants higher price, and this is why. So if we go over to the dollar, the dollar looks to me that what we're actually going to have happen here is that, you know, the uh, man, Teddy Kagstad, he had done that workshop a week and a half ago, which you can still get on our website, folks, on candlestick charting, right? Well, the most deviant thing that could happen here is that if you take a look at this, I believe, yeah, there we go, is that the dollar is almost doing a last engulfing. It, it's, a, it's a close call, okay? But if, in fact, this would be a last engulf, meaning that today you started lower, you got higher, right? And you're still dealing with this, the swing point, you know, from the uh, 103, 543 area. And if we close lower tomorrow, that's telling me that the dollar wants to go lower. And then that'll open the whole deal up for a bounce in the broad market Currencies, as well as the gold market. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 104. You get the NASDAQ up 43. S&Ps are down two and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. And coming up tomorrow, you can be a subscriber of Basil's, and he's going to be doing an outstanding workshop for you. That's going to be a subscriber workshop. It's going to go from 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. And it's very easy to be a subscriber, folks, okay? The bottom line is that the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the opening call, subscriber webinar. Bottom line, you hit that, baby. You're going to subscribe. You'll get the opening call for 30 days for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95. You can get it for a year for $11.95. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't, folks, you can cancel it on the 29th day. Guess what? You get a great newsletter. You have a great workshop with Basil tomorrow. And if you can't make it in person, folks, we have some great technology. You can go over and over on your page as many times as you like. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Well, first, Basil, can we talk a little bit about what you're going to be teaching tomorrow so that the folks can get an idea about it, then we can go over some of your charts. Is that cool? Absolutely. So there are a couple of things that are going on. I'll just get this right away. There it is. Uh, right. So it's the power of the 914 exponential moving averages and other indicators in the Chapman Wave methodology. So I've been discussing with you just for weeks how I've used the nine-period exponential moving average to tell me that the Dow is starting to roll over and the other indices that already started rolling over, then the other indices first went to sell signals, waited and waited for the Dow to turn around and finally it did. So that was just one thing that I did live on the show all the time. I actually did some today during my show. And what it does is this. Within the context of the different techniques that I've used, I've tried to simplify for this particular one just to go over and over uh, a few of the techniques that have really worked well. Yes. So the one is this nine-period moving average over the 14. And what I had done, and I, I've shown this to you umpteen times, so oops, if I can get the right one, there it is, is I showed you this Dow chart with just these three lines. Um, the gray line is the Dow price, closing price, and the green line 
is the nine period moving average is green when it goes above the 40 and it's pink when it does. You don't have to have the colors or anything. You can have a dashed line or a thin line that crosses over a thick line. It's a very simple technique that you can just put it on your software. Every software package has it and you can use it. So I'll teach you how to use it and what the benefit is. <clears throat> so we waited and waited and I discussed these tops. I don't have to go through that now, but what I was waiting for was a confirmation of any cell signal. But to get the cell signal, you need other tools. So I used another, well, I used two tools. One is, here's the Dow chart on the left. This is the daily, this is the weekly, this is the monthly. And so I'll be teaching this. There's this one-to-one -one extension from a falling axe pattern. That's, uh, I don't want to go into that right now because I can do it on my show tomorrow at 10. But look at this one-to-one -one expansion from the Dow low of 25th of May to the high of the 16th of June. Then it pulls back to the um, mid-June low of uh, 53.36. And then look what happened. It goes in an almost an equal measure to the upside. The whole thing about it, it's got this parallel degree of angle. So what happens is this sort of set me up to say, hey, now you can start looking for a cell signal. If you follow this blue line, look at this blue line, the way it gave you this exact low right there, that exact low. And I was waiting to see if on the August the 1st, my anticipation in a shorter time frame was that we were about to make a turn. So we actually went short the Dow uh, right at the high of August the 1st. And Look at this blue line, this unbalanced volume. This was to the exact day. Look at that reversal right there. Good old Joe so Granville. <laughs> that's Joe Granville. But uh, what he, yeah, he did live to see it put into software. But wow, he used to add up those, you know, 36 million, 530 right. plus, whatever, because it's a running total. Yes. And it means if it, the bar, it doesn't have to be a daily, any bar, if it closes at the high, you add it to your running total. If it closes at the low, you, you subtract it. It's a really simple technique. But look, and most people say you cannot time the top. You cannot time the bottom. But this one got it exactly. So we use that as an indicator. Then the other thing is this. Uh, I'm going to teach how you can use the symmetry of the number of bars to the upside to the number of bars to the downside to get to an important level of support or if it's a cup formation uh, um, to a level of re resistance. So these are very basic tools that I've used for a long time. Subscribers know exactly how we're using them. So I'm going to use, it'll be, NVIDIA will be giving its uh, earnings report after the bell tomorrow. So we'll be able to look at the, um, the S&P E-mini and do the one minute chart as if it was a daily chart and just do the same thing after hours. But I'll also be doing fixed. I'll have charts that we're looking at. But I'll, I'll try to do that because if you can show it live and it works, for instance, we're always looking for a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. And right here I can show you in the… Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet that NVIDIA is going to be coming out the same time you're doing the uh, workshop, Basil. <laughs> exactly. And that, I mean, I didn't know that at the time, but it's great because this is because we are short the SMHs I'll talk about. So we're always looking for the fourth highest peak where you can get a serious pullback. Look, here's the five-minute chart of the E-mini. This is live. Here's your peak D. That's the sharpest pullback we've had in a little while. So these are… I try to make it as, um, as practical as possible, sure. as simple as possible. When and how to use the 200 period moving average. The 200 period moving average is just sitting there. Uh, there are umpteen charts I actually showed during my, my show when I sat in for Larry at 1 o'clock today, how they went to exactly the 200 period moving average. This five-minute chart that I was talking about here, look at this, five-minute chart. Right at the five minute, it turns around. At the, at the 200 period moving average, it turns around. So these are very practical things. And for subscribers, I'll be going through different charts, what we have. Um, as I say, we, we let me just do this again. I'll show you that we are short the Dow. Whoops. And you've had quite a pullback in the Dow and it's still showing weakness. Here's the Dow chart. We are short the SMHs. We're actually aggressively short, but we've taken a little bit of that aggressive aggressive part off because we had really good profits in the SOXS. That's the three times short. We've got a core position from uh, which would be just about the high right there. That's where we short the um, SMH, the semiconductor Van Eck ETF. All-time high was 161.17 on the 31st. Two days later before the opening, we went short, and we're still short. And so we're looking at 
a very practical use of this whole thing, whether it's long. I have for subscribers, I like to have low price stocks as well as any price that there is. But I also like to have the low price. For instance, we have this EUC, <clears throat> which is Uranium Energy Core. Now, I like to look at, look, here's the same practical thing. Look, here's the nine period moving average. Look how strong it is. <clears throat> and look how the price just keeps coming down to the 14 and uses the nine as a springboard to move higher. Now it's just about to bump into resistance. But look at this timing of the cup formation. This is, I'm going to show the symmetry, how the number of bars on the left side can match the number of bars on the right. And that says that by the uh, 15th of, May, of uh, September, 4.30 should be achieved in the uh, UEC chart. And so folks, this is a stock at $4. It's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come into the workshop tomorrow. Come over to the website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You hit that button, subscribe. You're going to get a great newsletter. You're going to get a great workshop tomorrow afternoon as NVIDIA comes out with earnings. You have to love it. Basil, have a Thank great you. one, safe one. We look forward to the show and the webinar tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you ready to elevate your game in the stock market? On August 23rd, join Basil Chapman, the mastermind behind the renowned Chapman Wave methodology, in a subscriber-exclusive 90-minute webinar. From 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern, dive deep into the secrets of the 914 moving average, decode market turns, and get a head start on the stock outlook for September and October. The golden opportunity is free for all opening call subscribers. And if you're not on board yet as a subscriber, here's the deal. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Zero risks, all rewards. So what are you waiting for? Visit the front page of TFNN.com now and secure your spot. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industries right now down 143. We've got the NASDAQ up 15. S&Ps are off 9. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O R D dash oracle.com. That's Ord, O R D dash oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, I sent you over some charts. Uh, 
I have them. I don't have time to go through all of them, but... We have time um, to go through all of them. This market's a trip, Tim, no doubt. Let's see what you got going <laughs> here. All right, chart number one. Um, uh, the bottom window is a 63-day average of the trend. Yes. And uh, it's, it's current. And I marked it. Anyhow, that bottom... Um, I got it marked kind of light pink on the it's bottom. It's in the pink. The yes, I can see that. Day, yep. Yeah, six three day trend gets down around one or lower. Uh, usually, it's kind of means trouble for the market. Okay. And the uh, oh, uh, red lines and and pink areas are the times when that uh, six three day trend was below one, and we're still there. Um, it hasn't really moved much, even though the market's backed off. Uh, trend a couple of days did get kind of high, uh, but not enough high enough to really suggest we're near a low. Uh, this is like an intermediate term low. Okay. So I'm thinking we're going to kind of build some sort of a, I don't think a big decline's in the making here, but we're not really, really uh, ready to rally yet uh, until we start getting more panic than what we've seen. So that's, I, I think we may be here for another month, you know, in this vicinity or a little bit lower. You're going to drive and, people uh, crazy. <laughs> you what? I said, you're going to drive people crazy. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to drive everybody crazy. You know, once our panic starts showing up, then we start looking a little bit more bullish. So let's flip to chart two. Okay. So that was uh, chart one. That was a six, three day average of the trend. This takes it down to uh, the bottom window is a five day trend, and the next window up is a 10 day trend. And I marked the times with blue uh, lines, the times when both those got in bullish territory. For the five-day trend, it needs to get up close to 1.5. And for the 10-day trend, it needs to get up to around 1.2. And I took this chart back, what, three years or better. And uh, you can take it back as far as you want. It's, it's, uh, the story is always the same. So we're not even near uh, bullish levels on the five day and ten day. Both of them are close to one. One's a little bit less. So we need to really start seeing some panic. And panic forms when the trend gets above uh, actually one point two. You know, higher the better. Right. Uh, so we, let me just. So, let, I just want to reiterate what you're saying here because of between the first chart and the second chart, right? That. You're specifically saying that there hasn't been enough panic yet, so you might even not get a bounce. Is that would that be correct? Yeah, yeah. I thought we. I tried to actually get long here a few days ago, or a week, week and a half ago, and said we did have a, a, a couple of trend readings that were decent. I thought, okay, that's good for a bounce. Market didn't even bounce. Okay. Um, and that's a good sign that that you're going to need a lot more panic to get this market. Uh, yes. balance even right and even uh, a couple of days ago last friday you know the, the, i think that closing trend on that day was 0.77 uh, the market did go up for one day uh, we're back down again a little bit today but uh you're going to need a lot more you know people throwing in the towel type readings in the trend and the ticks on the close to really get a bounce going you know it's so, interesting there tim is that this is a dangerous time of the year for this to happen too it really is. You know what I mean? Well, you know, seasonality-wise, you know, this is of all the quarters to be in. Yeah. The third quarter, which we're in right now, is the worst quarter of the year. Right. No, that's my so, point. That I mean, I remember, you know, specifically, like, if this is going to be a razor blade cut on the way down, little by little, you drift, you drift, you drift, and then all of a sudden, you get a couple big downdrafts, you know, four or five weeks from now, then, then it really, I mean, I, I remember one, we were on the air, my God, that's and that's that's when the big turnaround came. It was a razor blade cut for like six weeks in a row, man. Do you know what I mean? It's like it just never stopped. So it's be interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's it could be here too because right now, you know, you're not seeing any great signs of of, of panic. You know, people are kind of buying the pullback. Seems like and and um, you know they they get a bounce and nothing really happens and they start hitting new lows and right. So, and folks, yeah, would that yeah, would happen there? Now, it's probably going to be. You know, I don't know exactly when the bomb's going to be, but, you know, a lot of times it's September, maybe October. Right. You know, because, August is almost over, so right. things so, could get really nasty in the next four or five weeks or whatever. No, I'm with you, because but, last Friday, when you just brought up the aspect of the trend being at 0.73, right, we shouldn't have got that, because that's saying everyone's buying again, right? 
Yeah, they were yeah. they were buying it, right? Right, exactly. You know, they had a you know, one in front of it, and right, you, you may have got a decent bound, but that's yeah, point seven seven done. You know, yeah, that, what that means, folks, bounce, no, but you're not going to get anything worth. I mean, that's about as bullish as so. you can get, but it's bearish, <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, cool. it's bearish. You know, right. if you ever do the statistics on on the trend, uh, I forgot what it was. I think it's up uh, advancing issues divided by yeah. declining issues divide that by up volume divided by down volume, right? And so you do all that rigmarole and you figure it out. And basically, what it says is, you got you really want volume going into the down stocks. That that what that what pushes the trend up. Yes. So it's, it's it's kind of a you need to reach an oversold level. People get uh, get up, and that transfers, I guess, the, the dumb money selling to the smart money who'll be buying or something. I don't know how that. No, no. Listen, works, I but, I totally understand what you're saying, and folks, it's. It's one of these deals. So let's picture that we've come down, we've come down, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh no, everyone's saying, hey, I'm not scared. I'm going to go in there and buy hand over fist. And it's like that wrecks the idea that you can come into a low. That's what. That's the bottom line. A point seven seven wrecks the idea that you're into a low. Yeah, I mean that's pretty intense, right. man. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's pretty intense. But we'll we'll be talking sometime. You know, probably in the next uh, couple, three, four weeks, or whatever it is. And people will be dead scared on your program, and they right. and they should be, and along with us, right? But that's the time you have to step in. When it's always been my kind of experiences, the ones I really have to grip my teeth to pull the trigger on yep. are usually the best trades. The ones I'm halfway confident in, um, and I'm even on the, you know usually the opposite side of everybody because I do panic type indicators. Sure. And those are the ones that usually don't work out the best. So, no, there's no doubt, so, man. And uh, yeah, it's it's this is the most deviant business in the world, man. <laughs> it really is. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. It takes a while to figure out how this whole, whole thing works. So yeah. Um, we I mean, we can we got time to flip chart three. Yeah, we're gonna and then I'm gonna keep you on the next segment anyway. But let's go. We'll flip to chart three. There we go. Okay. Right. This is not about panic, but it kind of measures momentum, and uh, this is. The QQQ and the SPX were down uh, four days in a row going into last Friday. Yes. The SPY was actually up on a Friday, barely. So it was only down three days. So I, that's the reason why I put the QQQ down four days in a row here. Okay. And, and when it's down four days in a row, that predicts the market will be lower 73% of the time within five days. Man, so, just hold that, hold that thought. Hold that thought right there. Folks, you stay right there. Tim and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down 190. NASDAQ is off one. S&Ps are down 15 and a half. Tim and I are coming right back. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow Industrials down 196. Nasdaq's off uh, 10. S&P's down 17 and a half. We talk about our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, Tim, I believe I'm still dealing with. Uh, we have the chart up of the queues still. Okay. Yeah, chart of the Qs. Uh, anyhow, the QQQ and actually the SPX were down four days in a row going into last Friday. That predicts the market will be lower within five days, 73% of the time. So it's just kind of a statistic, this quantitative analysis. You can take this back. Well, you can take it back as far as you want, and that's what you're going to come up with. So that's going to be this Thursday and Friday, right? Yeah. That's a, that's a big number, 73%, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you really don't want to, you know, I guess if you're an Oz man, you really don't want to bet against it. Right. But anyhow, I, I circled, or not circled, but I squared out the times uh, over the last, uh, looks like I about see, a year. yes, I see that. Yeah. But, yeah, the times that was down four days in a row, and uh, that there's a time in, in May there, it didn't work. Uh, but, you know, it, it's 73% of the time, so it did it, it did it right. So, but it, coming off the top, we were down. Four days in a row. Then last Friday again, we're down four days in a row. So you get a bounce, and you know there's 73 percent chance you're going to move uh, lower. You know this next low uh, could be important if, if we start seeing the trend to get kind of high. And if you look at today, you know we hit over two today on the open. And we're at 1.27. So um, a lot of times when that trend starts to stay high on a decline. Uh, a lot of times you, you'll you'll see kind of that trend continue. So so let me ask you this: since we, so you do take in, you know, when you look at the trend now, you also use the opening one. Well, I kind of watch it all day long. I got a graph, right? It, you know, and it hit two, and it kind of has been backing off since. But you know, this morning. The market was it was kind of rallying it up. And that trend was kind of high, which is kind of unusual. No, no, I agree. Um, I just know that years ago you never used the opening trend. That's all I'm asking specifically. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't. It's kind of a worthless, but it's something I watch. I guess. Do I? Okay, trade off that's of it? cool. No, no that's, I just uh, want to get it clear. It, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end, the closing. What what the whole market throughout the day, the closing trend, kind of accumulates what has happened, you know, and so yes. you want everybody gets basically throw in the towel and the trend high trend reading on the close kinda of tells you that. You like that. Market, cool. That, okay. Yeah. People are giving up, they're throwing in the towel and says, You get me out of this market and, and that's what you want to see. Right. Because then uh the more that happens the better it is on the bigger time frames too. So um are we heading for that type of uh decline? We may. That's what I'm trying to say here. Yes. We already got the trend kind of high. Right. And uh, so we may be getting the throw in the towel type trend over the next several days. And um, so that could, you know, maybe lead for a bounce. I'm not sure it'd be the final bottoms, but it could lead for a decent bounce. We'll have to wait and see. But mm -hmm. as it says right now, there's there's no signal here. Okay. So, 
And we should, you know, break new lows below last Friday's low. So right, and maybe that's where people are going to start screaming. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. But whenever they start screaming, um, that's where the, the low is going to start to form. Right. That's so, the beginning of the yeah. low. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. So, in, so in the coming days and weeks, you know, we should be able to pick out that low. Yeah. You know, nice. As, it, as it's happening. Right. So it'll be something to look forward to. That's for sure. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, let's, let's flip to uh, I actually flip to chart four. Okay, uh, just going to briefly do this one. You know, the bottom window is the fifty-day average of the up-down volume, and the chart goes back to two thousand twelve. And I listed the times in blue circles when this indicator fell below uh, twenty. And in every case, when it fell below twenty. The decline was done. Either the market flipped sideways, or in most cases it did, or there was a, 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 a rally of some sort. But um, so anyhow, so what I'm trying to say is stop the decline to the downside. So now, and, and folks, right now, five. this is the, the, the in case you're in your car listening to your radio and not watching on TV, we're looking at the uh, gold market right now. Go ahead, Tim. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's right. It's the GDX up-down volume yep. with the 50-day average. Uh, so every time it got below 20, going back to 2012, uh, the market most of the time flipped sideways. And so I listed the time on chart number five where we are. So I blew that chart up to show you how this, this indicator works. And it's pretty close what happened over the last, uh, oh, this, over the last couple of years because it's pretty rare to get the GDX up-down volume with 50-day average below 20. It happens maybe once, well, it happens once a year over the last three uh, three years. I it see. Once in okay. 2021, once in 2022, and now we got it in 2023. And the first time in 2021, the market flipped sideways for six months. If you notice where that blue line is, the market did go down a little bit before it flipped sideways. Yep. See, in 2000, same thing was 2022. It didn't get the exact bottom, but the market kind of drifted down sideways for a month or two, then flipped sideways. The exact same thing's happening here. Right. It didn't pick the bottom, but uh, uh, it, it, in my opinion, is flipping sideways. We're not having a steep decline in the beginning here. We're end of the probably decline. We're probably, in my opinion, uh, setting at the lows, and either now we're starting going sideways or we start going up. Previous signals of this type, the market base for at least one month, if not uh, if not six months. That'll definitely so drive we've everyone been going crazy. Sideways now for <laughs> Including me. Signal came in first. <laughs> Pardon? I said that'll definitely drive everyone crazy, including me. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, the signal came in first of July, so basically we've been moving sideways here for two months. Okay. So when does the rally start? Well, the rally starts, yeah, I didn't, well, yeah, but the rally starts when this indicator closes above zero. Zero, right, exactly. And I should have light and blue, uh, light blue that. I didn't do it. I no, I, I, we it. can see it. I, 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 put my, I put my cursor on it right now. I can see it, yep. Yeah, so, and we're right around uh, minus, what, seven or something, or five, or minus five right now. So we need close above zero. And that's when the impulse wave starts. So if you look at 2022 bottom, the, the bottom happened in, or well, the signal happened in July. It flipped sideways, looks like until about October. And finally, uh, beginning of October, it rallied all the way into the first part of the year. So it rallied quite a long time. Uh, but um, And if you look in 2021, you got a signal in, it looks like about August maybe, and um, yeah, it stopped moving it higher in September. Zero, yeah, then it came in, had a big rally uh, towards the first part of the 2022. Right. So, anyhow, my point is, as soon as that closes above zero, is when that impulse rally starts. Could be a month away, could be a week away. Um, we're in two months already. Could the sideways movement go another four months, maybe? And that's but, how uh, gold does move. Yeah, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. Well, listen, Tim, it's always a pleasure. And folks, don't forget to get a hold of Tim 
Aud, O-R-D, dash oracle.com. Tim, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to speaking to you on Thursday. All right, thank you. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. We have the Dow down 195, NASDAQ's off uh, four, S&P's down 15 and a half. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to Ray in Sarasota. Ray, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Uh, good to talk to you. I, uh, I need your advice on uh, Vista Gold. Um, I, I have a position, and I've owned it in the past and, and I've made money on it right now. I'm in a little under 55 cents a share, but, uh, we're uh, getting close to new lows for the, for the year. Yes. And I'm wondering if it's going to hold there. And my second part of my question would be what's their cash position and are they going to have to issue more stock to, to raise uh, capital and uh, dilute the share value? Well, they, I can answer your second one first. They have cash, and I don't expect that. That's why they've basically they're only one of the gold companies without debt and have cash, okay? Now, that being said, the low for the year raise, 45 cents, the high is 75. I happen to own it, too. I got to, you know, stop in at 42 right now, so there's no doubt. it's We're getting there, man. Um, you know... This, you know, we, we get down to, f what, 45 today or at 46 and a half right now. And, you know, let's hope it holds here because, well, not hope's a bad word in the business, but okay, not hope. Uh, because the next leg would be, you know, down at basically, you know, 27, 30, 
you know what I mean, somewhere in, in that area. Um, and, you know, as my son always says, it's like, okay, so, you know, and I'm glad you called because, see, this, this is just, this could get us a turnaround, Ray. <laughs> Seri I'm serious. <laughs> because he'll say to me, hey, hold it. We can buy the whole company for 120 million. Because, see, that, what happened here, folks, there's, there's the, the float, right? Um, you yep. know, well, no, well, 55 million, not 120, 55 million, okay? So it's like, okay, if you can buy a company of 55 million, why doesn't someone just come in and buy it? So we both have to keep that in mind. Now, the good news is that you've traded it before, and you know how fast it can go up if, in fact, we have a low in the gold market. You know what I mean? Right. But I don't see them yeah. dilu diluting it. And also what's happening, the CEO hasn't sold anything, man. He just keeps buying them. Every, when I say okay. buying them, every time he gets options, he holds them. You know what I mean? So yep. he's going to know the most, and he doesn't let go of anything, and now he's one of the biggest holders. So that's good news for all of us. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Don't forget about Basil's newsla um, newsletter and workshop tomorrow, folks.